When I was 16, I became Miss Teen Fallbrook. During that year, I spent countless hours attending business events, especially business mixers. Businesswoman would come up to me and often ask, what do you want to do after high school? Do you already know what college you want to go to? Unlike most teenagers, I loved to be asked these questions. I loved to be asked these questions because I knew my answer. I would tell them, I actually don't want to go to college. I plan on being a homemaker and marrying young. I would love to have a large family someday and homeschool them. For those that were nosy enough to ask, I would tell them that I planned on having at least a dozen children. Never was this an acceptable answer. You see, they felt like I was not taking advantage of all the headway they had made for women. Feminists have been working for decades to make sure people like me have the opportunity to pursue any career they want. Why in the world would a girl 16 years old, given the opportunity to pursue scholarships, choose instead to stay home with a bunch of children and homeschool them herself. I understood that this was their reaction, but I unfortunately found it more amusing than something that should make me change my point of view. You see, I valued the idea of family so strongly that I was offended when they wanted to throw that under the rug. In retrospect, I realized that they actually valued family too. They valued it, but they never communicated to me that being a businesswoman does not mean you let your family fall by the wayside. It wasn't until my senior year in high school when I took economics that Dr. Colander was able to show me how beautiful, how exciting, and how fascinating being a businesswoman could be. You see, he also highly valued family. He understood that I wanted to be a homemaker because I wanted to have time to invest in my children. I wanted to make sure whatever family I had someday would get my best time and that they would have every opportunity to grow strong as a family unit. Because he spoke my language, he was able to convince me, without arguing with me, that I could pursue college and that that could help nurture my future family, but also a career someday. Aside from that, when I was 16, there was another stereotype that was thrown around. Let me ask you, since I began this speech, have you changed your perspe perspective of me? What did you think when you heard that I was Miss Teen Fallbrick? Well, I'd like to assume that I actually built up my speech. I'm going to bet you thought that I'm a little bit superficial, a bit shallow, probably self-absorbed. In fact, I probably have spent hours watching makeup tutorials, Snapchatting, well, unfortunately, I don't have time to dispel that, but I'll let you know that I do not have a Snapchat. I don't watch makeup tutorials. Of course, wearing pink and a face full of makeup doesn't do much to change your mind on that. But do you think that a woman who has been in a beauty pageant would have no interest in physics? Would you assume that I dislike conversations about nuclear fission and understanding how electrons work. Why it seems that when they're bombarded with light that they th throw off electrons. Or when an atom is bombarded with electrons, they emit light. I agree. There's no reason that a beauty queen would have any interest in deep, complicated topics. Unfortunately, I'll have to discuss that with you another time.